Hello guys, it's Patro TV here and you need to watch this video because this is important. The last tutorial that I made was on an older version of the blockchain Gia client, it was 1.11 and now it's 1.14. Why does it affect you? Well, if you followed my previous tutorial and you have the newer version, you will notice that it doesn't work for you. The method that I've done. So previously, the way we were doing it was six plots parallel 85 okay and we were setting up rest of the settings okay so these will start every 85 minutes each plot and then we make another queue i mean another plot let's say we wanted to make another 29 plots but we add them to the queue and they would queue nicely okay and once one of those plots finished those parallel plots they will grab one of those plots from the queue and continue working big difference now it does not happen it doesn't grab those plots from the queue and it just just ignores them so in order to get your parallel plotting set up nicely what i have done is this i add to the queue i select the maximum i want to do okay parallel in plot i mean pl plot in parallel and in order to find out your delay for this different method you have to go to your logs they are located in your c drive c drive users user whatever you say account code go to chia mainnet plotter and here anything any file that's 203 kilobytes okay that's the finished log so you can track this okay let's go down to the bottom and you will see it took me 23,000 seconds to complete this. Divided by 60, that's 396 minutes, which is about 6 hours 61. So times that by 60, divided by 7, because I want to do 7 plots, it's 56 minutes delay. Of course, you can't predict the load. I'll just safely put it to 60. Okay. I do the same setting as usual, 4000, which is that's per plot. When you, um, 12 threads, that's how many threads I have. If you're not sure how to set up these settings, watch my other videos. And I select one SSD for transfer and the second SSD. Why do I have two SSD? The reason for this is that the transfer speed is like 10, 10 minutes or less. It's much faster than transferring it from SSD to a hard drive because to a hard drive it can to take you much longer. It can take you, let's have a look, take you about 20 minutes or longer. That's why I use uh, SSD. Now, so to once you set this up, that's how it's going to look like. The th big thing you have to understand that your processor. Yeah, uh, if you have Intel, it might be slower. In most cases, Intel is slower. If you have a Xeon, you have a Ryzen, uh, then you might be okay. But you need to go to your logs, find out. Let's say I completed, for example, so many plots at that time. Okay, then you know the computer is under load, and it will give you a true estimate on how long it took you to complete. Let's go down. Right to the bottom, it took me back then 31,000 seconds to complete, okay? So divided by 60, divided by 60, it took me 8.7 hours. Of course, I would divide by 7 times 60. That's how we were getting like 75, 85 delay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run 60 uh, minutes delay. That's pretty much it. That was just a quick update. Uh, make sure you check your logs and set the parallel based on that okay same settings we just don't do add to the plot queue unfortunately that doesn't work anymore you can't keep adding to the queue it was nice in the previous version that you can keep adding so the plots that are in parallel it could they continue to work unfortunately it does not happen that's it for me today uh, i'll be making video about hpool the beginner tutorial because many people have got questions about it and some people have issues. 
I'll try to cover everything. And like I said, I uh, will be making a application for you guys. Uh, if you're running an SSD that distributes the finished plots uh, and transfers them to external hard drive. So like with the HPO, you will have a, a GUI like on here. I'll make something very similar that you can select the drives and it will distribute your plots once they appear finished from the final let's say final hard drive the ssd it will distribute them accordingly to the external hard drives if you're running external hard drive or mechanical hard drive don't worry it's not a must i do it to have maximum efficiency if you're just a budget miner just a small miner don't overspend you don't need to assist this you can just do it with a regular hard drive it, it will take you a bit longer but you will get there eventually okay that's it from me today and if you have any questions or if you want me to cover anything leave a comment down below and thank you very much for a thousand subscribers you guys are awesome and i will keep you guys updated if i find anything new and leave a like at the end of the day remember have a good night